This has been a very hard-fought campaign here in Iowa. All the candidates have been in here, virtually all of them. All of them have made a major effort. So we haven't played a weak schedule. This has been a hard schedule <laughs> here, is that an issues-oriented campaign can succeed. So I think all in all, it was probably, uh, in terms of summing it up, it was a, a Carter victory with a significant uncommitted, a moral victory for, for Fred Harris, and the other candidates will be looking for support and putting their efforts back together in many of the other states. The effect of all that, frankly, is to put it on the local county poor fund. It means that we'll lose $2.5 million in federal funds. It'll mean a massive increase in property taxes, all to save $1.8 million in, in state funds. I think that's insane. When you've got a $260 million surplus in the state budget, saving $1.8 million by taking it out on the poorest people in the state is unconscionable.
Well, the question was raised was whether this was duplicity of subject matters, whether the bill that created the Department of Transportation uh, allowed the, uh, could properly allow the uh, Highway Commission or the Department of Transportation to fix the length of trucks in, in, and do that in one bill because of a constitutional provision that says that every bill shall contain but one subject matter and matters properly connected therewith. Our opinion was that it was all one subject matter, that the subject matter Lounsbury says the current picture farmers are looking at is an indication of what's to come in the future. He says the production of new fertilizer manufacturing operations is underway across the country. Lounsbury says they should keep up with product demand, thereby eliminating the situation Iowa farmers have faced the past two years of fertilizer shortage. This is Craig King reporting for Newswatch. Is it safe to say that there's more than a one in 14 seasons you had a few decisions that you made today? Well, Frank, first I'd like to, you know, make this comment that in no way have I had any problem with, you know, Dr. Parks or Lou McCullough or this kind of thing. It's a great situation. Uh, it, it's just a, a thing that like the statement that we issued, I wrote the statement, you know, with, I mean, jointly, and uh, we just feel like that it's better. Um, we decided that uh, they need a new coach next year, and that if we wait until the end of the year, then it'll be very difficult to hire a coach before the recruiting season's over, and that would be unfair. And once you announce this thing, uh, I certainly don't want to play 12 games, and every time we go to a game, uh, have to go through this. Uh, uh, there's no in between with me, and you know people want to know why or what caused it the problems. Uh, I think probably the single most thing was uh, the kids leaving, probably, and there was nothing I could do about that. I could not convince people that I didn't run them off. But Dr. Park's been very fair to me, and Lou McCullough's been great to me. Uh, they hired me, and, and I res feel I respect them very much. Give me the opportunity to coach at Iowa State for a year and a half, and if they'll get behind the program and the new coach uh, can get two or three good kids, they can have a great program in the future. Ken, don't you feel that maybe you took some undue pressures because of the young men who left last spring and uh, last summer that I'm not saying in protecting individuals, but uh, you never placed any blame. I would state that uh, as a reporter. Was this a factor maybe? Oh, I don't know, Frank. I really don't want to dwell on that. That's past history. I think the biggest thing uh, maybe uh, my personality is such that I'm very open and very candid. And 
when you answer questions as frank as I answer them, uh, sometimes it uh, turns some people off. They don't hear what you're saying and they misunderstand. And I think that's probably the greatest thing. But 98% of the people in Iowa have been great to me. Uh, my phone has rung off the hook today, and I, I certainly don't want people to think that I'm quitting because that word uh, makes my tongue swell up. It's a thing that's best for the program. I, I was not fired, and I did not uh, quit. I mean, it was a thing where two people uh, sit down and have a little class about them and work out a problem, and, uh, and we've done that. And I want to, again, thank the university, uh, uh, the two or three people that, are, that uh, have caused me problems, and they know who they are, and there's no point getting in that. And the main way that I wish them the best, I want them to win. I want to do the best for me. I, I'm going to try to take some time off and, and take a look at my future and see what I'm going to do. Where does this leave you? And uh, we do know that you have uh, one plus years remaining on a contract through August of 1977, and uh, I guess would be free to negotiate for yourself. Well, I, I don't, that's not really important either. Uh, the, the university was very fair to me, and, and I think I was very fair to them. I, I don't think it's, uh, you know, we didn't haggle over anything. Uh, they've been great. This is a class university. I told you the day I accepted this job, this was a great day for me because I really believe that Iowa State, uh, I mean, academically, the whole thing has got to be one of the great universities. And uh, I would like to see the athletic uh, program come up to that, uh, and I think they will. We've actually had some years where there was no assistance and we did have to cut down personal services. Uh, we're in hopes that we won't have to go into personal services, which would reduce our overall service to the public, and uh, this is an area we, we, we'd like to stay away from. While the current situation may not be as critical as other years, the problem still remains. The Unemployment Security Commission is $276,000 in the red. Without some help from Washington, the commission may have to cut into personnel. Clayman says it's ended up that way before, but adds a cut in employees may not be such a good idea when unemployment statistics are so high. This is Craig King reporting for Newswatch. The Federal Power Commission has not granted it the necessary authorizations to withdraw gas from certain new storage fields, which natural has developed and which they do have gas injected into. So they simply haven't got enough gas to keep up the service they have been giving? Not within their authorization, they don't. Merrill says since this winter has been so mild, Iowa Power has an unusually large amount of gas still left in storage, so the curtailment won't affect the company seriously. This is Judy Rooks reporting for Newswatch.
it's approved uh, over a year ago. Uh, uh, the the problem areas uh, deal with uh, in the physicians and surgeon area with anesthesiologists and getting them to uh, an area of, or level of coverage uh, where they feel they should be. The underlying coverage uh, appears to be available even for anesthesiologists. It's difficult to get them coverage uh, over a uh, $200,000, dollars policy. Fifteen years ago, doctors were rarely sued for misdiagnosis, while today nearly half of all malpractice suits are because doctors improperly named the illness. Huff says that if more care were taken today, lawsuits would be reduced, along with malpractice insurance rates. Vernon McLaughlin reporting for Newswatch. Is that